thanks for joining us. I know, awkward as shit. Here we go. Just going to say anything else? <laughs> nope. Just going to be weird. Okay, another morning. Uh, we have roundabout today. Um, it is going to be seven rounds of a 100 meter farmer's carry, 10 dumbbell sit-ups, and then 10 goblet squats. Um, so we're gonna looking at 15 to 20 minutes, and um, that's that. Moderate length today, um, and nothing high tech, we're just moving the bod um, for a significant amount of time. So to get started, we are going to get three rounds of our Ninja Flow. I am going to have Nat work through one, possibly two, and let you finish up the rest on your own. Okay, so the swoopity swoop, we are going to start out with a left arm swoopity swoop. So you're going to start all fours, uh, wrists right underneath the elbows, underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we are going to take the left arm, we are going to make a fancy swoop, palms up, place the shoulder on the ground and let that stretch going into the other side. That is your swoopity swoop. Okay, from there, we're gonna go thread the needle. So reach up and then reach through. Again, palms up, getting the shoulder on the side, reaching all the way to the sky. <sighs> be patient on this one. It doesn't have to be super duper fast, um, but we wanna get a little bit of movement in there. Okay, so we got thread the needle both sides and we're gonna lay down. We're gonna get a scorpion left and right. So we're gonna reach the left heel to the right wrist and then swoop the other way. And then we're gonna come up into that down dog position and do a thread the needle with the leg. So you're gonna reach through and then open up into that nice hip opener, like a standing scorpion kind of-ish. Both legs, right? There we go. And then we're gonna go through that one more time. So a left arm swoopity swoop. Reach and stretch. Reach and stretch. Palm up. And then a thread the needle, both arms. So again, we're gonna reach through, palm up, open up to the sky, place the other hand down. You got the gist. We do this on the regs, so you should know what the thread the needle is. Then we're gonna lay down, get a scorpion each leg, reaching the heel to the opposite hand. <clears throat> My teenage boy just came out there for a sec. And then the thread the needle with the leg. So you're gonna go up into that down dog position, reach through and then open those hips. Yeah. Really have to push the palms through the floor on this one, create some stability and there we go. All right, you guys are gonna do that one more time. And then from there, we are going to go into our uh, prep. So we're going to start out with a 50 meter farmer's carry. So you're going to go 25 meters or say 25 steps, one arm, and then back with the other arm. La 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 la. That's what I always feel like going to do farmer's carries. La 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 la. Happy tree friends. Have you ever seen that show? Uh-uh. Oh, All right. Once we get those farmer's carries knocked out, we're going to go into 10 mountain climbers. Everybody's fave. N Natalie's favorite. She, did you, you could tell by that face, right? She was super excited about that. These don't have to be super fast, guys. We want to get those hips opened up. So you can t uh, make that as dynamic as you care to at this moment in time. Okay. 
And then we're gonna stay there and get five knee push outs. So you're gonna stay in that lizard position or the top of that uh, mountain climber, drive that knee out, come back, give it that good stretch. And then we're gonna switch legs and do the same thing five times. Really think about creating space in the front of that hip and the groin. After you get those five, go ahead and come on up and grab your dumbbell. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go 25 steps, front rack carry each arm. Wedgie. Sorry guys, I see that. <laughs> version. There is no editing here. We know this. Okay, from there we're going to get 10 contralateral V-ups. So you're going to reach your left arm to your right toe and your right arm to your left toe. We're going to get 10 total, five each leg. Hi -ya. <coughs> well, we're going to get five sun salutations each. So you're going to go into that lizard or deep lunge position. We're gonna drink, drink. We're gonna drive the elbow towards the arch of the foot and open up the chest towards the knee. So you're gonna get five on each side. Always want to look where you're opening up to. Gives you that extra range of motion. Whew, that was a good one. All right, guys, from there, we're going to go that 50 meters overhead carry. So um, if you have a light enough dumbbell where you can uh, go one arm at a time, uh, we're going to go 25 steps. If not, you're going to hold it in a horizontal overhead. Remember to reach through, get that head through so we're not way out here with that one, okay? Um, so 25 steps with one arm and then 25 steps with the other arm. Voila. All right, from there, we're going to get 10 sit ups. These sit ups want to make sure that we are not turning into a meatball and we are keeping that spine nice and long. See, that's terrible. It's terrible on the back. It's terrible on the breath. Want to make sure we're leaning forward at the hip, keeping the top of the head towards the ceiling. Still want to have good posture, even if we're doing sit ups. From there, we're going to cup on up and get 10 air squats. Still keeping that chest nice and tall. Feet should be firmly connected to the floor, so we want big toe, little toe, and heel. Driving through the heel, squeezing that booty on the way up. All right. Once you get those 10 air squats, we're gonna get a quick little run through um, of how this workout is gonna go down. Um, we are going to go a farmer's carry. We're gonna go 10 steps, one arm, 10 steps, the other arm.
we are going to get five dumbbell sit-ups this time. So for the workout, we want to keep the dumbbell right at the chest, hug it to you, however that works for you, and sit all the way up. If this is too much for you at home, you can do this just body weight, but um, the prescribed workout is with your dumbbell. After you get those five sit-ups there, we're gonna get five goblet squats. Again, even if you have a heavy dumbbell, you should be able to get this done with your dumbbell to get those goblet squats. If you have to break it up five and five, but you should be able to get 10 goblet squats at a pretty heavy weight. Okay, so that's it guys. We're gonna go seven rounds, 100 meters farmer's carry. So 50 meters out, 50 meters back, or you're gonna go 50 steps, 50 steps, right? Then you're gonna come back in, get 10 dumbbell sit-ups, 10 goblet squats. You're gonna do that seven times, 15 minutes, 20 max. Um, and that's that for the day. Mm. Hope you have fun. Peace out.